Hi, it's June 14th. I'm Mike Stanton, and this is the BAM Weekly Muni Market Update here with Morgan Fahey from BAM's Capital Markets Desk. Morgan, thanks for taking some time today. Thanks, Mike. Uh, interesting week in the market, some uh, very important economic data, uh, some news in terms of feedback from the Fed on their outlook on the economy. What carried the day? Sure. Um, so the market continues to be very focused on the economic data and potential timing of future rate cuts. This week, CPI and PPI came in lower than expected. We saw Treasuries rally on the back of these numbers as the market seemed to assume that this was positive news for potential rate cuts. There was also a Fed meeting, as you mentioned this week, where rates were kept steady. And there were talks of just one cut for 2024 versus the three that were discussed in March, and then a potential for four cuts in 2025. So I think that this continues to reinforce the Fed's desire to be patient and to see more than a month or two of positive data before you know they start to ease. Uh, treasuries were tighter on the week um, with you know, all of that news, the 10 year at the time of this video on Friday morning was around a 420 and the 30 year was around a 434. And of course, that economic data this week showing you know, a higher likelihood of rate cuts followed last week's employment data, which might have shown a lower likelihood of rate cuts. So it, there is still some uncertainty out there in the market. Definitely. How did the new issue and moving over to the munis, uh, the new issue uh, parade that we've seen in recent uh, weeks continue this week? Uh, how did the new issue volume look? Sure. Um, so the primary market definitely continues to be, you know, a focus right now, uh, year to date. I think it's important to mention uh, supplies up around 39%. Uh, this week was a little bit lower at around 8 billion, but that's still really nice activity for, you know, a Fed week. BAM was extremely active this week, pricing around 595 million across 29 series in 14 states. And then just a few deals um, to highlight here were the 280 million Florida State University deal, which was bought by JP Morgan, an 80 million city of Irvine Community Facilities District in California, which was priced by Stiefel, and then a 29 million city of Athens, Alabama deal priced by Fraser Lanier. And of note that uh, Florida State transaction was in the competitive market. So, real time view on the marketplace, JP Morgan concluded that BAM Insurance was uh, the best way to get that deal priced. What uh, next week's calendar, how does that look? Sure. So it looks to be building nicely. We're seeing just about $8 billion as of this morning um, for the holiday shortened week next week. And a deal that we will be watching here at BAM is the $47 million Sand Springs ISD Tulsa County, Oklahoma, which is going to be priced by DA Davidson. And it's interesting that you bring up the Juneteenth holiday. It falls on Wednesday next week. Uh, I think the market is still getting used to how that dynamic works. So it'll be de definitely interesting to see uh, how that flows through uh, with uh, continued strong investor demand from uh, from uh, cash flows on principal and interest payments, as well as uh, I think uh, cash flows in the mutual funds are up again this week. So uh, still seeing strong demand on the uh, buy side. Absolutely. You know, munis as of this morning were tighter across the curve again, uh, about eight basis points in the five-year part of the curve, uh, nine basis points in the 10-year part of the curve, and about six basis points in the 30-year part of the curve. So, you know, continuing to see solid demand in the muni part of the curve. Great. Thanks for those updates, Morgan. Have a great weekend. Thanks, you too.